everybody. I am so happy to be with you today. What I would like to do is make a spring bunny project with you. But before we begin, I want you to say hi to Ayla and Sophie. Ayla, Sophie. Good girl. This is Sophie. And she has been helping me when we've been home. And come here, Ayla. Come on. Up, girl. Come on, Ayla. Up. Ayla's having a hard time getting up. Sophie keeps wanting to jump up on her. So, anyways, now that we started with Sophie and a hi to Ayla, I would like to make a spring project with you. It is almost spring here, and I wanted to show you that we're going to be working on contrast and some value within our bunny. So what you're going to need today is you are going to be needing a marker to do your bunny. Now, I don't want you to use a permanent marker. I would rather have you use a Crayola marker. Here's why. We are going to draw our bunny, but we are going to add some water to it later, and that's going to give us our value of our lighter spots of that color. So I only want you to use one color for your entire bunny. So let's get started. Okay, I am going to um, walk you through how to make this bunny. At any time, if you need me to stop, all you're going to have to do is press the pause button, catch up with me, and then when you're ready, you can push play. Here we go. So we're going to start at the edge of our uh, paper, and we're going to make an oval for his eye. This time, you are going to color that in. And I also wanted to tell you that we want lots and lots of ink on our paper so we can turn it into that value that we were talking about. So don't be afraid to sketch. So right below that eye, I want you to make a couple of lines that are going to be his nose and his little cheek. So I'm going to have you do that. and. And like like I said, you're going to kind of be sketching. So see how Mrs. Pike is just adding lots of lines? You're going to kind of do that. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to add his front here of his uh, chest area. So I'm going to come up back up and start here and make the top of his head. And then we're gonna add a nice big ear. And remember, we're going to add it going towards the back of our paper. So I'm gonna add the inside of his ear here. And remember, we're adding lots of lines here. Same thing, I'm gonna go back over some of these lines here. Perfect. Now what we need to do is his next ear, and remember that's in the distance or further behind, so that's going to be a little bit shorter than the other one. I like that right about there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is he is probably going to be maybe laying down a little bit in the grass, so I'm going to add his three toes, and I'm going to add his leg right there. And I think that I'm going to add his other leg as well. And that's going to go here. Now I'm going to add some more ink that we were talking about. So once you kind of sketch this, I want this to be a nice, free, easy sketch for you. So I want you just to keep loosely going over it. If you make a mistake, keep going. You're fine. All right, let's head back up to the top of the bunny. So we need to add his head, the back of his head in here. And his big back is going to come way, way over here, like a big sad face. And again, add your lines here. It's okay if you make a mistake, fix it and move on. So I'm going to come up here a little bit with his um, leg. And I'm going to start here with his belly. Now we need to make a great big line here for the back of his leg. Big muscular and his toes are going to come down like this. And again, I'm going to give him three toes. And then I'm just going to kind of close this up here. Good. He's looking cute. 
All right, I'm going to add some more. His tail is kind of low, so we need to remember that his tail is going to be down here. Now, what I wanted to show you is we need to be thinking about where he's going to be fluffy. So I'm saying, well, he'll definitely be fluffy in here, and we're going to see some fur in here. So I'm adding that. The more that you add to his fur, the more ink that you're going to, or paint you're going to be able to do. All right, great. I'm going to have you catch up and push pause, and then you can come back when you're done. I can't wait to see your bunnies. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pretend that he is in a field of grass. I'm even gonna go over some of the bunny with my grass. And did you see how quickly I did that? I might even add some tall grass back here. And maybe there's a little bit more up around here. He's really hanging out in the grass. I could even add some down here. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is I just have a cup with water and nothing in it, just water and a paintbrush. Any type of paintbrush you want and watch the magic, magic of this. I'm just gonna start loosely going around the outside of my rabbit and look what's happening. We're getting some value and some contrast in here. So I'm getting that lighter color. We don't wanna color the whole entire rabbit in, but rather you just wanna go more on the outsides of the rabbit to get that color in there. And again, where would that fluff be? And I see that I already forgot his whiskers, so I'm gonna stop right here for a minute, and I'm just gonna go back, and if you forget something, you can add it. So here's some whiskers here, and here's some whiskers over here. I'm gonna add that nose in here. Perfect, I'm gonna go back in. Oh, I definitely wanna color in around here, I think. And I'm just gonna add some water to this. How cool is that? So you can be watercoloring without even any paint. All you need is that marker and a little bit of water. Wow, I love this. When you're done with that, what I want you to do is set this aside to dry. And I would like you to see if you can find some scrap papers around. I want you to be thinking about what kind of flowers you could add around there? Um, so let me just pull mine back down for you. I have some flowers and I just used a colored marker. I drew them on a piece of paper, I cut them out, and you just wanna remember to try to go in odd numbers. So I have five flowers on mine. Maybe you wanna have five, maybe seven, maybe nine flowers on the bottom of yours. You could use different colors to add it up. Maybe you wanna send this to somebody in your family um, for Easter. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I am going to be working on a new project for you for next week. So I hope I see the results of your projects. You can either send me your response on Flipgrid or uh, maybe you can take a picture and download it and email it to me. Can't wait to see how beautiful they come out and what you add to yours. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you next week. Bye everybody.